Hi, my name is Alex, I'm a designer and I commute to work on my bike every day. I've been selected by Class Olsen to be a class act and today I'm going to show you how to change your bicycle chain. Okay, so our first step for those of you with single speed bikes or fixed gear bikes is to slacken off the chain. Uh, for those of you with geared bikes you can actually ignore this step. Okay, so we just drop the wheel forwards and then only enough just to make the chain loose and then tighten the wheel back up again. Okay, so our next step is to break the chain with this chain breaker tool or some of you will have a quick release link which will look different to all the other links on the chain and that you can just prise off. So you can simply clip the device over the chain and then wind this. Okay, so the key is to pop the pin out so that it actually still stays stuck into the back side of that link. Yeah. Okay, so you just remove the tool and the chain comes apart like so. Okay, so with the chain off, the next thing to do is line it up against the new chain and break the new one to the same length as the original. Okay, so we simply line the chains up like so. Okay, so we need to remove this length of chain. Again, it's the same procedure as last time. Now, hopefully not pushing it too far. Okay, so you feed your chain back round like so. For those who have geared bicycles, you uh, need to just feed the chain back through the derailleur as you took it off in the same procedure. So, you have to make sure the pin on the chain is lined up with the pushing pin on the tool. And then you simply drive that back through. Push it all the way back in. Open it out. ensure that the link is nice and free to move. Okay, so with the new chain fitted, the next step is to pull the back wheel back and retense the chain. Again, those of you with, um, with geared bikes don't need to worry about this step. Okay, so Tighten that nut there. So on a fixed gear or a single speed, you need to check that the chain is tight enough. You're looking for about sort of a finger, two fingers worth of lift like this. So once you've checked the tightness of your chain, uh, it's a good idea to put some oil or spray lubricant on. So we're going to apply a little bit of spray to the chain just to make sure it's nice and oiled. And that's it. That's how you change your bicycle chain.